Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am playing with some fun products. I have the Simply Sweet dies, um, which are really awesome. We have some swirls, some vines that you can make strawberry vines, some florals, a uh, humper die, tags, all kinds of fun things to do with this. I've also pulled in the stencil of the month, which is the Berry Basket 6x6 stencil. And of course, I have some glitter glazes and a chroma glaze. I'm going to be making a pocket page um, to put some Disney ephemera in it. And I've decided to make my pocket with a photo decoration. So let's see what I can do. All right, so I am starting out with some khaki cardstock and the basket stencil. And I am using a silicone brush to go ahead and apply some pearl chroma glaze through the stencil. Now I am doing just a light bit of chroma glaze and I'm doing this for two reasons. One, it'll dry quicker if I don't have a huge thick amount on there. Uh, and two, I just want kind of the pearlized shimmer. Um, if I left it super uh, big and thick, it would be a little bit more white and I don't want that. Like I said, pearlized shimmer is what I'm looking for. Now I am being uh, kind of lazy and not letting it dry uh, in between times where I am overlapping my stencil to make sure that my basket weave goes entirely across the page. Um, so I do put that to the side and again, I am using a, another silicone brush. Uh, to apply some glitter glaze to some white cardstock. Now I'm applying the glitter glaze uh, just so it will dry and then I can die cut it out. Um, you could uh, die cut first and then glitter glaze over them, but I find this to be easier uh, and less messy as long as your glitter glaze is completely dry. Um, if your glitter glaze is not completely dry and your paper is not completely dry, the glitter glaze falls off. Um, from the pressure of a die cut machine. So don't do that. Um, and I am using a silicone brush this time because I want a thin layer of glitter glaze. Um, normally I do use a palette knife and I have a palette knife that is just for glitter glaze. And I now have multiple silicone brushes. So I do have a silicone brush that is just for glitter glaze too, uh, because glitter sticks, uh, no matter what glitter sticks. Um, now I am also taking this piece of pattern paper and uh, placing glitter glaze over top of all of it. So I'm giving this paper a good shot of being a beautiful uh, glitter glaze. And this is Emma's Pink, in case you were wondering. So I've used Emma's Pink, Navy, and also my favorite glitter glaze in the world, which is Fallen Snow. Um, I actually forgot to order it. Oh my word, I am terrible. I just placed a Brutus Monroe order and I forgot to add. I usually want to add um, a Fallen Snow Glitter Glaze to my order because it, like I said, it's my favorite and I was going to do that this time and I completely forgot. So I went ahead and used the dies and cut out uh, little bits so this humper border right here, um, a humper is a scallop. So um, in case you guys didn't know, or this is the first time you're seeing a video uh, from me, uh, me and my family, or my family and I, if I, I guess we want to be grammatically correct, um, make up our own words, make up our own things, and we call it like the Reversky Family Dictionary, even though there isn't a dictionary, and I should make a dictionary, uh, but a humper is this uh, scalloped bit right here. So for these viney bits, I own, or twirly bits, I just cut it out of straight black cardstock. I did not glitterize them at all. Um, I figured that if I glitterized all of it, um, it wouldn't be as special. So I just decided to glitter uh, partial bits. Um, and then I'm pulling off the humper bits, but I'm not exactly sure why I'm pulling off the humper. Oh, because I decided I wanted to do the banners. So with the banners, um, some of them are glittered and some of them are not. So the pink, 
uh, is that glittered uh, pattern paper with um, the Emma's pink glitter glaze on top of it and the white is with the fallen snow glitter glaze on top of it uh, and then the black is just straight black cardstock. So I'm taking the larger banners and then I am overlapping it with the smaller banners that were all cut out with the dies. And I'm making sure that the smaller banners do not cover up their own color. So the black is only going to touch uh, the pink and the white. The pink is only going to touch the white and the black. And the white is only going to touch the black and the pink. Um, I don't worry about it underneath of the actual photo because it's a waste uh, to put that down there. You're not going to see it. I mean, I guess if you want it to tear apart my layout and look at it and you'll be like, what? But that's fine. But you're not tearing apart my layout until I'm dead and gone. So it's fine. Um, I go ahead and put my little twirly whirly bits uh, again around the photo. So this is a photo of Cinderella Castle in Magic Kingdom. Um, and there have been a couple of times where I have been uh, messaged where I've talked about Cinderella Castle and have been told, no, it is not Cinderella Castle. It is Sleeping Beauty Castle. But uh, in case you didn't know, Cinderella Castle was repainted. Uh, for the 50th anniversary celebration and it's a little bit pink so there's a little bit more pink in it than there ever was um, and then that's why people get it confused with Sleeping Beauty Castle which is in Disneyland but I promise you guys this is in Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World in Florida so I've got uh, the little bits that I have die cut out um, so these kind of uh, kind of bursty pinwheel bits almost. Um, I'm going to layer those bad boys up and I'm also going to layer up uh, the labels. So the labels have um, a larger label and a smaller label that you can overlap on top as you saw right there that I did. And I uh, also die cut out the word hello. I actually die cut out the word hello in black and in the glitter glazed white because I wasn't exactly sure which way I was going to go. Um, but I decided to do uh, the black lettering on the glitter glazed white uh, label. I figured that that made the most sense and frankly it popped the most and it looks the prettiest. So now that I have these little pinwheel bits, I am layering them up and each part of the pinwheel is glitter glazed. So the fallen snow is on the white part and then the Emma's pink is on the pink uh, pattern paper. Now this is definitely a time where I chose my glitter glaze colors based on my photo. I want it to kind of give a nod to the colors of Cinderella Castle. Um, so that is why I chose the glitter glazes that I did. Um, and then I'm going to cover up a little bit of the white space that's going on over here on the left hand corner of my layout. I'm going to replicate the banners and place that down. And then I need it to add some more of the humper uh, bits up there. So I pulled out some from behind my photo and placed it up at the top. And then I'm going to place a twirly bit up here too, and I'm going to layer that over top of my banners. So I'm just looking to make a little bit of a decoration up here, um, trying not to make some sort of, you know, nonsensical kind of statement. But I want, I want it to replicate and I want it to, um, to look decent. So I go ahead and... Uh, pop those bad boys down and my little uh, viney swirly twirly bit does kind of hang down off of the um, the banners there. I am going to grab some silver sparkly enamel dots from my stash and I'm going to fill in the center of kind of my bursty things and also I'm going to add a couple more around the layout just because I like sparkle and shine. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out the links down below if you're interested in any of the products that I use today. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.